cheers. Cheers. Welcome to another edition of Coffee with Tough Souls. June and July edition, but really just July edition. Because we can sum up June in one single word. We both got COVID and it was the worst thing ever. Um, yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. Obviously, we're vaccinated and everything uh, just finally caught up to us. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I mean, we had a pretty good, but it totally wiped us out. Yeah. We had a good as in we didn't end up having to need any yeah, medical care. Yeah, we were in the hospital or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we but just we also sat around at home and basically watched Korean dramas on Netflix for two weeks. I think but you're making light of it. That's what you did. I, w- I was very <laughs> sick. <laughs> I was very sick at home. Yeah. Um, I did not enjoy that at all. No. Um, it, yeah. It was funny. It kind of felt like... Um, like I had a thought of being like, oh, maybe now I'll catch up on all those like home projects that we have mm. on. Because I see other people like getting sick and basically just kind of having a week or two off at home. Yeah. And then I died. It was, <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. Yes. And it took us quite a few weeks to recover as well. So yeah, yeah that's why it kind of wiped off the whole month of June for us really. Yeah. Like I think we, we got it on like the 50th, 60th or something of June. And yeah. it just took us the entire rest of the month to like properly. Yeah. Get easily. back on our feet. Yeah. Um, the only thing that uh, we that happened during the month of June um, was running up for air, which is the Patagonia yearly fundraiser. Yes. Um, Last year, you remember, I walked up and down a hill way more times than any human being should ever walk up and down a hill. Yes. Um, and this um, year, it was my turn. Yeah, I was excited to try, like come up to like figure something out to do. Yeah. And uh, and then COVID hit, so I was like, great! I don't have to think of anything. Um, so I'm, I'm, I signed up for the Patagonia WG. Yeah, I, I was way too out of it still after COVID. Yeah. Um, so I kicked Ellie out the house, made her go and do something. Yeah. Instead. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I met up with the Patagonia Dublin team for the day and did my best. Uh, did a little bit. <laughs> and we made a video about that, so you'll see that. Uh, or you have seen that. And um, yeah, that pretty much was June for us. Mm. It's funny, these kind of Coffee of Tough Souls are a bit of a behind the scenes. But um, you saw everything we did that month, because... We literally have not... Yeah. yeah we yeah. just were not able to move. So anyway, that's anyway, that. So at the start of July, as we're very slowly getting back on our feet, it was my, my birthday. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Mm. So um, I have a birthday tradition of climbing a new peak for my birthday every year. And our original plans of going off to Donegal or somewhere exciting. Um, we're dashed by uh, us still just just out of recovery <laughs> and just about able to go for a hike. And then it was r- like really wet, like the weather was quite bad. So instead of Jenny Gall, um, we stayed local and I picked a couple of uh, hikes in Sligo or mountains in Sligo that I hadn't yet done. So across my birthday weekend, we first went up Ben Boban, which you made a little video of. Yes. That was very nice and cute. It was very nice. And um, then the next day we did Schlieve Dargan, which is not a mountain I think anybody no. knows <laughs> because it's not really a mountain. It's not. It's a couple of hundred meters tall, but it was a bit of an adventure because it's not really a peak that people go to. Yeah, it was. We rarely actually go off trail, off trail. Um, and this was just me being like, we're going here. Yeah. So that was quite fun. Um, in the kind of Sligo area, if you can't stand on anywhere with some prominence, you'll be able to see different mountains, you'll see Knock Naray, you'll see Ben Boban, they're quite distinctive. And then you'll also see a couple of sections that just look like somebody kind of scruffed up the carpet. Someone... Scruffed... Up the carpet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how I would describe that also. Someone... Scruffing up the carpet. Yeah. You know, made it all... Rumply. It's like a little, the, the, a, a, yeah, a, a, obviously you're scruffing it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a li- it's I think a, everyone yeah. understands what you meant when you said that. It's a little ridge of ruffles. Yes. Um, yeah, it's like a bunch of ground got pushed in one direction, basically. Yes, tectonic plates doing the whole geography thing. Not as cool it's as my... Glaciers, sorry. No tectonic plates there involved. Geography doing geology. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, there's a couple of mountain ranges that look... Or, Mountain ranges. Yeah. A couple of sequences of hills that kind of look... Look quite cool. Look like they've been scruffed up. And um, 
So is a couple of us. Is yeah. one of those. Yeah. Yeah. So that was our uh, exciting day. And then uh, for the to round up the weekend, you went up Knocknaray, which yes. I had been up before. Um, I'd never been up Knocknaray, uh, and I didn't grow up very far away from it. I uh, never went there. Um, that's a ridiculous mountain. Mm -hmm. It's like just sort of... Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. it's, it's like really someone there. just yeah. plonked a boulder mm. and covered it. Do we get any footage of that? Not really. Mm. Too bad. Um, um, yeah. We'll but have to nice. go and do it again some other day for for top souls or something. Um, yeah, maybe. It was quite a nice hill. It's, it's cool. I mean, I'll probably run around. That would be kind of a fun run. I do run around. That's how I've been up it before. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it's a great place to gain elevation. Indeed. Yes. Yes. If you're training and. Under 20k, you can get over a thousand meters of elevation. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Or you could just walk up and down a hill uh, <laughs> 50 times in a day. Yeah. And I guess speaking of local mountains, we are ticking more and more of them off. Indeed, we, we actually went up the only mountain you can see from our house. It's right over there. Hmm. And by right over there, I mean like miles and miles and miles <laughs> away. But it's flat around here, so yeah. Um, Iron, mm. which is a big big mountain in Leitrim um, yeah. it's big in a certain way it's like a big mon monolith is the wrong word it's just a big kind of plateau area it's like someone went with some chocolate sauce on like a piece of paper and it's just like <laughs> sits there wait you can make up I think metaphors. my analogy is better uh, anyway um, yeah it's it's a quite a large sort of area yeah um, I don't know it's cool mountain yeah um, it's part of a plateau range of three different mountains yes and can you name them all? Ben Corey is one, Souvenir is the other, and then there's the third one. Ballynocken? Dunno. It's not too far. It's called this. And we had thought about doing all three, but in a traditional Tough Soul start, we started quite late in the day. And it was raining. It was raining. And so then much. when we were up there, it was lashing rain. Yes. And we also had a talk that we went to that was evening. That, that day? Oh my god, yeah, wow. Well. Uh, about Rathcrohan, which yes. is a super cool area that. We'll do a video about that yeah, soon. Yeah, kind of part, like adjacent to our Heritage, heritage Card series. Yes. Um, which is uh, a bit of a probably only like 300 of you have ever watched. <laughs> um, <laughs> Very early on in Tussauds, we did our first year of walking yes. uh, and making videos and then Ellie broke her foot so we had to go and figure out something to do in the winter time while that recuperated and uh, we got heritage cards yes. from the OPW um, and that allows you access into how many sites is it? 40, 50? A lot. A lot of yeah. um, heritage locations in Ireland. Yeah, um, across the country. Indeed, and Rathcrohan is one of them. Mm. It's one of the biggest kind of megalithic complexes. Um, it's a really, really ancient place. It's kind of yeah. the equivalent of the Hilatara, but nowhere near as well. It known. actually is very like that. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, they had a really interesting talk about access, agriculture, and kind of how to have like really, it was kind of a sustainable tourism talk, but that I don't think those words were ever actually used in it. Because when you have people coming to see a place, um, farmers can't really farm it the way they used to, especially once people realize just how important the, yeah. the history there is. Um, so it was looking at how to incorporate the community really into it and yeah. have a much more of a learning mm. experience. Also interesting with uh, that talk was about waymarking and yes. waymarking a bunch of trails. Yeah. So they've come up with a colour scheme for mm. uh, various different trails yeah. around Rathcrohan. Um, I just thought yeah. it was really cool. Yeah, yeah, they worked with an Irish artist um, who runs a project called Turf Projects, mm. um, which is all about colour palettes and colour schemes of Ireland mm -hmm. and kind of the yeah, yeah, so she did one with them based off of um, the flora of the area. That's the what they went yeah, with in the end yeah, for the way marking. I think was really, really kind yeah. of on point. Yeah. Um, and the colour scheme looks great. And the, yeah. the way marking or the concepts for it look really, really good. So yeah, so I think that's going to be a couple of years in development. Yeah, it'll be a while still before they really get that going. Um, and we'll probably have been there before they get it going. Yeah. But we'll go there again once they have gotten it going. Sure. 
how many times can I say getting it going? <laughs> and, uh, um, one phrase here. Yeah. And I guess, like, I feel like there's a real kind of point, pivoting, I don't know, launching. Inflection point. Yeah, um, with the Irish outdoors at the moment. Oh, like, totally. Going to yeah, that. 100%. Um, seeing, like, I got to see the um, path builders on Kirkpatrick mm, at the moment mm. who are working at building a really, like, sustainable path up the mountain. I mean, you say the word path, it makes it sound like they're putting in, like, a, a, foot, like a footpath, like a pavement. Whereas, really, they're kind of sculpting the mountain to both heal the mountain and help people Something navigate Something we it. will definitely do a video about. Yeah, um, yeah. Because it, it looks and seems absolutely amazing. It's really, really Same fascinating. Same with the, uh, the Sheep's Wool Path on yeah. the Leitrim Way. Yeah. Um, we will definitely do a video about both of these things. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think that would be really, really cool. Yeah, the Sheep's Wool Path on the Leitrim Way is the first of its kind in Ireland. They do have one very similar, I think, in the Mourns, mm. but for like... Uh, the Republic of Ireland is the first one of its kind where they're using sheep's wool as a foundation. Yeah. Which is super duper cool. Sounds really interesting. Yeah. We actually have sheep's wool in our uh, house. That's yes. our installation. Yes. Um, Ours is processed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, fun fact if you use raw sheep's wool in your uh, installation, you'll get an infestation of moths inside of your house. It's not something you want. No. So, you want uh, essentially radioactive sheep's wool um, <laughs> treated with boron to. Uh, yeah. Um, prevent that yeah but yeah yeah um that was cool yeah and then july ended with my leitrim way adventure yeah which we just very recently did a video about so don't indeed we could to basically it was at this very table uh, yes. we could pretty much splice the, <laughs> the end of that video into this one um yeah yeah the light's gotten real nice all of a sudden yeah yeah so our summer was a bit derailed from our original intentions but I think we still have a lot of energy for the outdoors this year. So I'm excited to see what this autumn and winter brings. Yeah. Our house is getting more and more finished. Yes. Uh, which will also help a lot. Yes. It's I think quite difficult when you have like a digger come around or whatever. <laughs> it's really hard to be like, okay, I trust that this person and this digger who will never be here again will do a correct job without me being here. Well, they also just don't um, know what you want. Oh, totally. They have, they yeah, have yeah. questions for you throughout the day yeah, and stuff. Yeah. I think actually at the end of our last Coffee with Tough Souls video, we said, next time we'll have a kitchen. Um, which is true. We do oh, now have true. a kitchen. We still have a plumbing. <laughs> so if you count a kitchen as a cooker, a hob, a bunch of counters, yes. storage space for food, and no running water, then yes, we have a kitchen. But the sink is in location. The, yeah, the sink's in the right place. We just don't have <laughs> the eight holes and walls that we need for the plumbing to work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's super exciting. I am actually yeah. so happy, so happy with that. Yeah. And we painted our floors. Yes. I said this before. I just somehow don't learn this lesson. Uh, when you're renovating a house, just get to painting. <laughs> like, just paint stuff straight away. Mm. It makes such a difference. Yeah. I uh, Like, oh my God, because we went from having untreated, mostly untreated uh, concrete floors, like unsealed concrete mm. floors, which uh, they are, that is dusty. You don't mm. want that. Mm. Um, we probably took a year off our life living in there for any <laughs> length of time. Um, but having painted the floor now, the fact that I can walk around downstairs barefoot mm. has like completely changed how the house feels to me. Mm. Um, and also, little uh, has cheap floor paint. So yes, yeah, yes. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've got a kitchen. Yes, we've got painted floors. Yes, we've now got a garden that we will be able to. Yes. Well, we've we've done the the step of turning it from a jungle into an area of mud. Yeah. Now it's kind <laughs> of. Yeah, um, it's just a blank slate. Yeah, it's a blank slate. Yeah. yeah. So we've got to plant some grass now. Yeah. And other things. Yes. Um, yeah. Actually, the video that went out last weekend, um, the gear storage one. Yes. I filmed in June after we had COVID. Yes. And I think how tired I was, like that took me that doing the, <laughs> those two days wiped so much out of me shows just how much, and normal people wouldn't notice, but I could see like all my sinuses, like standing <laughs> up, like in the footage. <laughs> what I liked about that is you spent in the raw footage. Yes about three minutes trying to think of the word for sleeping bag <laughs> <laughs> ah the magic of editing <laughs> um, here's to a uh, wonderful autumn here's being able to cook in our new kitchen hmm. so yeah if there's any other random bits of phone footage i find we'll desperately, make a desperately trying to think of anything else to say in this video lovely montage of 
pretty things and yeah, hope you're all keeping well. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. You're gonna get me to do this on camera? Yeah. I was still never once falling into those cameras. I know, that's okay. First time for everything. You're trying to ruin my seat? It's fine. I yeah. At the end of all our videos, we actually say a huge thank you to all our patrons. It's thanks to people who support us on Patreon that we can keep making videos. So a huge shout out to all of you guys. Really, really appreciate it. And this week, we're going to say a special thank you to Catherine Gibson, to Michael Anthony, and to Patrick Sweeney. Thank you guys, and thank you to everybody who supports us. It means so much. It really and does. Um, we'll see you in our next video. Yes, Ellie is about to go run 100 kilometers in Kerry. Well, we're going to see how that goes. Ellie's about to go and attempt to run 100 kilometers in Kerry. Yes, because I went over my ankle last week. Shocker, Ellie has hurt her feet. And today is the first day that I can walk. Mm. So, we'll see if I can run in four days' time. I feel like we need to do like a headlines thing. <laughs> <laughs> Have like a little ticker. Breaking news. Underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking news. Ellie has yet again fallen yeah. and hurting. Hurting? Hurting. <laughs> She's hurting bad. Oh, my, my <laughs> foot got hurting. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, whether or not I do run it will be in the next exciting Coffee with Souls. Indeed. Stay tuned. The cake has probably cooled down enough to at least cut it open now. Yes. Yeah? That's the reason I've been quiet for this whole video. It's because the less I speak, the quicker we'll get this cake in front of us. Discuss the news, yeah. clearly. <laughs> I swear to each other. <laughs>